Ladies and gentlemen, I am performing all night tonight, darlings. All right. Look at this new hair, guys. I hope you're liking the show, everyone. I'm going to do a bunch of different things. Now, I'm going to just mainly focus on vlogging videos, guys. Now, vlogging videos are where it's at tonight. Only because I don't feel like singing tonight. Don't worry, I will sing soon. You will see me sing again very soon. I know you guys love that. And if you want to see my past covers, I've actually got like 32,000 videos. And you can see covers from the last two and a half years. Uh, because we've got videos from all that time, all right? And a lot of covers. Yeah, I mainly do covers and I mainly do original hits. Well, I mainly do covers, basically. Uh, I'm a cover artist, but I do original hits too and acting and dancing and all that. Every video that I do a, a song, I'm dancing in it, all right? So you guys will really like that. It's so much fun, all right? Now, I might do some campy videos tonight, some funny campy videos. And I hope you guys like the show. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And very pleased to perform for all you guys tonight. I hope you guys really like the show. It's so much fun to do this. Honestly, if you are someone that has thought about having a YouTube channel and has thought about, you know, doing something like creative and fun like this, I really recommend it because honestly, I have the most fun ever. I get to wear the most cute costumes that are ever on internet. I get to look so good. I get to really have fun with you guys. And I get to be myself. That's the most fun part of it. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not normally a drag queen. I don't consider myself a drag queen. But I get, but what I mean by being myself is just sort of like, letting loose and letting my true talent show and no holds barred and not really feeling restricted in any way not really feeling like i have to be somebody else so i'm really grateful to that honestly if you have a youtube channel and if somebody tells you you know you can't do this or this type of video is not good just be yourself it'll pay off um perform the way you want to Obviously, if you're performing the way someone else wants you to, it's no good because you won't be interested in that and it won't make you want to do content and then you'll procrastinate and voila, you won't do a thing, darlings, and voila, you lost out. All right, do what you want on YouTube. Be yourself. Have things that you like on there. If you change your mind, you can change your mind. But do things that make you enjoy what your content is all about, what you stand for, if you stand for anything, or what what talents you like to show off. If you have no talent, I still recommend it. Even if you have no looks or talent, I recommend it because a lot of people out there might be like, I never knew there's a person like me out there. Maybe they feel the same way you do, and maybe they feel like, hey, you know, I never thought about having you know it's really important that we have every type of person represented on on youtube and we do pretty much i mean i would say when i look at youtube i see a lot of variety of people a lot of different types of people on there people with health issues mental health issues that are overcoming them people that are beautiful and sexy of course and talented singing and dancing and acting wise uh, but of course those people are there uh, and then there's going to be uh, but every type of person is valid every type of person represents something every type of person really uh, unlocks the the potential of the next right just like when there's not as much racial um, presentation in Hollywood and in the media that's just when it's like the same thing right I mean if you have less, and then when the more of those people uh, are coming out of the works uh, into the Hollywood mainstream and onto you starting out on YouTube, etc., etc., then that's when you're gonna see people really being like, hey, you know what? This is awesome. I get to see someone like me out there. So if you are someone that really feels there's no one like you and you're not represented properly, Trust me, it's probably a really good idea that you have a channel. Now, I know 
I know there is a lot of watching Ricky Martin, and Ricky Martin's always really, really nice and really awesome. And I mean, I like Ricky Martin a lot, and he's super famous and super talented, super rich. He's really great. Now, I wish Ricky Martin would seem to have more confidence, because sometimes you see him and he seems very nervous. But part of that is because he's been one of the only major out guys in the world as a gay guy, and there are lots of gay guys in Hollywood, lots of gay guys in Hollywood, even Elton John and all that, but the different ones that are coming out of the woodworks, and lots of new ones that look very, very good, like Colton from, from The Bachelor is gay, and he's gorgeous, right? So there's a lot of new people out there that are representing the gay community for the guys. Um, and so, you know, obviously he's going to be nervous. I mean, it's hard to maintain that status. And everybody looks up to him. He's gorgeous. And he always talks. Uh, this is what, and he might not be nervous at all. I don't know if I'm just sit, making that up or not. But he's talking about, he's super famous. I don't see why he would be. But sometimes you're like, he seems way too nice. And you're like, I seem very nice too, but I prefer it though. But he seems way too nice, and you're like, you know, and that's just maybe that's his personality. Maybe he's the same way as me. But I'm like, I'm like, you know, you are so good. You're so popular. You're so famous, and your songs are so sexy, and all that. Maybe he just doesn't interview well. But I'm like, I get nervous too, and stuff like that. But I understand that he. Everyone's like thanking him for being out and everything. You know, he he is the epitome of of gorgeous gay, right? Now, Colton is out now, too, which is very, you know, it's surprising when you see someone other than Ricky Martin that's gorgeous come out and you're, like, surprised. But it's really good that they do because then the representation is better for the gay men that are good-looking, right? Now, I really feel that, that uh, Colton might take some of the brunt off of Ricky Martin, right? Because Ricky Martin has been the only gay guy in the world for so long. I mean, there's Elton John, but nobody really... Elton John hasn't been in the spotlight too often lately. But, you know, Ricky Martin is a really good... I mean, I, I'm, I'm bi. So, I mean, I look forward to Ricky Martin and stuff, and I really like Ricky Martin. And, I mean, maybe he's not nervous, but I'm like, you know, there are other people that are gay out there. It's just that he does... You know, when you think of gay male celebrities, who do you think of, really? Like, there really is no one that you can think of. There's a lot of, like I said, there is a lot of them, but you just, the one you think of is Ricky Martin, right? So you're just like, Ricky, you know, you're so awesome, and you know, you look great, and you're so awesome, and you know, you should be proud of that. And I mean, remember, Ricky, that you are not the only out gay man in Hollywood, and there are some people that are really good looking too, it's just you're probably the most famous young good looking one. So, uh, a, a tribute to gay Ricky Martin, or not to gay Ricky Martin, to Ricky Martin, um, a tribute to Ricky Martin being so amazing. We love Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin is so cute too. He's so, he's so good looking, and you're like, aw. <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much for watching me perform. Now, I'm hoping this hair shows up well, darling. I don't know if it's going to work, darling. I don't know if it's going to work. But Ricky Martin is very, very good. And you know what? Ricky Martin should be thanked. Well, he is thanked. And that's the thing. He's very, he very, he's very much thanked. A lot of people really thank him for being the epitome of good-looking gay and being the main one. You know, he, he's done a lot for people. You know, a lot of people are, like, thanking him for being out there and being actually gay and being good looking and being proud of it and saying he's gay. Now Ricky Martin used to be bi, um, but he says he's officially gay, so he's very he's gay. But he has had he has dated women before and that's not surprising because he's very gorgeous. Um but yeah, so totally kudos to Ricky Martin, totally awesome Ricky Martin. We love Ricky Martin, Ricky Martin is fantastic. Thank you all very much for watching, everyone. All right, bye. Bye, guys. I'm hoping this hair is showing up well, darling.